Well, hello, welcome into another video. Welcome into the project pan update for June. I just pulled out my summer clothes and I am loving this top. I need to get the back fixed. The button came off, but that's not why we're here. We're here for the project pan update. <sighs> we're halfway through the year. I'm not quite. Once June is over, then we're halfway through the year. But like we're getting into the halfway year mark and I don't even know what to say. So I'm gonna get into it and I'm ready to start talking about some makeup. First up, last month I rolled in my Tarte primer. Have my tallies, almost forgot that. So I used this eight times. Here is where we're at. I really think I can finish this for next month, probably even before that. Um, you kind of need a lot when you use this, especially if you want to use it on most of your face. I don't like this. I think it's a bad primer and I will be happy to get rid of it. So if I did this in eight uses, I really think that I could probably finish this in a similar amount of time, if not maybe less. But I, I have a history of underestimating how long it takes to use things. So we'll call this eight, hopefully. Next up on the list is the CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream. I used this four times. We are about here. This is just where I can tell at the moment. There's still a lot of air in here. I, I do think that we're farther down. This is starting to become my shade. I have been running outside and I have noticed the slightest, slightest tan, but also your girl's gonna be self tanning for the first time in like three years. So I'm kind of excited about that. And hopefully this will be an even better shade match at that point in time. We're at four uses. I think this is the most so far this year. This is a okay product. And not even because of the coverage, because I know I'm a fuller coverage kind of person and this just isn't the coverage level for me. But the finish of this and just the way it looks on the skin, it always looks dry on my face, even when the texture isn't dry. It picks up on dry patches. I guess is what I'm trying to say. So this is a, I don't even want to say good, it's a mediocre product and I have found ways to make it work. So we're plugging along with this guy. I'm going to roll in one more foundation. I'm rolling in the Sephora Best Skin Ever Foundation. We are, I have a tally. Where are you? Oh yes, here. I'm about here. We can see the tally there. I haven't used it yet for this project, but I have been using it every now and then. Um, I also did a full face using this in a recent video. I'll link that. This formula is okay. It's good, not great. And the color on this is actually really weird. I just, I, I, ha I have to show you. So this is called 8Y. It's supposed to be a yellow undertone. Look at this color. This is peach to me. This is not yellow. It's actually wild. Let me swatch it next to a Fenty color. I have all my other yellow shades are like this. So this is just an example. Look at the Fenty next to it. I actually cannot believe anybody ever in their right mind called this yellow. It's peach, like a peachy pink color. So this is just a really weird color that's not right for my skin, but it's totally usable. And I have been using this as a mix in with other foundations and I think that's really going to be the only way to finish it up and truly if this is not in a project I probably won't finish it. I'll just sit around because this is again this is a good not great product and I have others I like more like the Fenty foundation. I like my Revlon color stay better as well. I like my Merit foundations better and then when you just have something that is a good not great and you have more products you like more then it's just gonna you know languish and I would rather use it up. Next up is the Quo Concealer. Oh my gosh, I am, I'm nearly done with this, honestly. Um, I used this 10 times. You can really see into the bottle now. I don't know if you can. No, you can't see anything. We're scraping the sides and I actually really thought that I would be able to pull out the stopper this month. I didn't, but we're, we're getting really close. Like we're, we're almost there. I for sure feel like the stopper will be able to be pulled out 
this month. So once that's done, there's always a surprising amount of products. So I think this will be finished either in June or July, but we'll, we'll have to see. And I'm excited to finally, finally finish this. Now let's go to my Glossier boy brow. I used this nine times. I did use other products every now and then. I removed the stopper out of this because nothing, like nothing was coming out. The brush was coming out dry. Nothing was depositing on my eyebrows. So I took out the stopper. Big mistake. Huge. Look at the brush. I I spend I spend forever doing my brows now because so much product comes out comes up on this. It's my fault. So I'm there scraping and scraping and scraping and scraping all the product off and there's always too much on my eyebrows now. It doesn't really look good anymore because it's just too much is coming out. There is a wild amount of product in here and I thought that once I pulled the stopper out before I pulled it out, I thought, okay, once I pull this out, we're going to be just another week maybe and we'll be good. I have at least a month, if not two or three months worth of use out of here because there's so much product left. I'm really starting to believe that the reason why stoppers are put in is to make use up use up the product faster because it's wild. Anyways, moving on. A couple of really quick ones. My eyeliner I used eight times. No, six times. I used it six times. Um, I did roll it up another time wearing it today. I'm falling in love with brown liner. I'm getting better at it. You know, I haven't really worn eyeliner all that much in my makeup life. I'm kind of loving it, honestly. And it's really making my eyelashes look thicker and fuller. Can we tell? I really love the way that it looks. Um, the, the next really quick one is this guy. It's the Revlon Brow Marker. I used the marker twice and I actually think it's kind of dead because barely anything is coming up on it now. Okay, if I were to just, you see, it's, I don't, I just maybe don't think it's my color. Maybe not necessarily that it's dead, but it's not really my color. Anyways, I was struggling with this. And then when last time you guys had a great chuckle about this powder, it's just dumb. I don't know why I'm sitting here playing with it. It's just dumb. It, I used it once and I was like, hell no. Who knows if I'll actually be able to finish this up. Hold on, I'm trying to gather my thoughts on this. This product here, I'm just gonna say, is not a pressing matter going forward. I just would like to use it up before the end of the year. There's not a huge rush, so we'll see how long it takes. I think that's more accurate. Next up is my NARS bronzer. Here's how we're doing. Look at that huge dip. We're making excellent, excellent progress. I actually thought that I would be able to hit pan this month. Like I thought it was coming. I really, really, really did, but not yet. So I'm gonna cross my fingers and hope for this month to be able to hit pan on this. I used this 12 times. I'm really, I'm, it has to come in June. You know, it, ha it has to be coming soon. I'm going to be introducing another new product and that is my NYX Stay Matte Powder. We are here. Um, this is its farewell tour, honestly. Um, I'm not using it much these days and personally, I'm just so tempted to buy new powder because this one isn't working. It's, it's just not my favorite anymore and I really want to fight that temptation to buy something new and channel all of that energy into finishing this up. I do have a couple of powder options and so I could pretty easily ignore this and use the other things, but um, I don't want to do that. I want to finish this up and, you know, make its last purchase a really fun one. So she's coming in for next rotation. On to the lip products, which I think are probably some of the most exciting things of this update. The first is the Quo Lip Oil. We did it. She's finished. I mean, there's a, a hair left in there, but I'm not all that pressed to use it. I'm really proud of this. Uh, it took 
for freaking ever to finish up. I'm really surprised. It took me five months to finish a lip oil. In its place, I'm gonna be rolling in a product that Instagram actually picked. I knew that I would be out of the lip oil by the time this update rolled around and I wanted to roll in a new product and I had Instagram pick it for me. So I am rolling in the Fenty Gloss in the original Fenty Glow shade. We're about here. This is gonna take a while but this is one that I really love. Like I really love this formula and this color is just, it's dynamite. This is my go-to purse lip gloss, probably wear it tonight, she's beautiful. I, I really could not be happier to have this in here. And it's products like this, products like the Boy Brow that are actual loves that make the project even better. Next on the lip train is the Becca lipstick. So listen, maybe the pictures will show a different story. I was so excited when I saw this because I'm really getting down there. I think we just have a couple months worth of views. I think I can finish this by the end of July, maybe get close this month, but I think this will probably be six weeks worth of views. But when I compared it to the comparison photo or with this, it's, it's looking the same. Like it looks like there is no movement at all. So that is really disheartening. I've worn this quite a bit and it doesn't really make sense why things aren't moving. I wanna see pictures from last month to hopefully compare, but I was so excited about that until I saw the, this guy. Next up is the MAC Lip Liner. Um, she's a new roll in. I use this six times where, like, I mean, she's looking pretty thick still. She's not going anywhere until the end of the year. Been loving loving this color onto the last makeup item before we get into some of the skincare stuff um here is the hourglass palette here's how we're doing i really noticed a difference in this blush this month and you know we're expanding this pan over here we're getting there folks i used this nine times not every time I did makeup this past month, past month, but pretty close. I guess all I can say is slow and steady progress on this guy. We're, we're doing our best over here. The last few things I've made really great progress on as well. First up is this Hyaluronic Acid Serum. Um, here's last month, that was May, this is June. Huge dip, one of the largest to date. And I think that's, you can tell that I was using a lot but also my skin really turned this past month, which is surprising seeing as we were getting really warm weather. It's 31 degrees today without humidity. I found that really surprising that my skin turned so late in the year and I've just been experiencing overall a lot of dryness. This has been helping a little bit. Honestly, not as much as other things. I was really, everybody talks about how great hyaluronic acid is for moisture and plumpness and I have not, really been seeing that much with this and even I got a tip from a friend who suggested to put on two layers it was only then that I saw a slight difference maybe this is just not a great serum I don't know but I'm just kind of actually disappointed in this honestly anyways I used that 18 times the next um, was a roll-in from last month, which was the Court Organics Nona Glow Face Mask. I used this five times. We're about here again. This is another situation with air. Guys, I hate this mask. I hate it so much. Just drop the lid, get that in a little bit. It smells okay, but it's the texture for me. Like it goes on and you're gonna be like, you're thinking, or not you, I was thinking, it goes on like, I hate to say it, like mucus or snot and then you rub it in and it kind of has that feeling or texture like my previous mask but then it just so it feels promising like i'm touching it now and it's you know kind of hydrating dewy and then it completely dries down it's such a weird sensation i really don't like it i, I don't i don't like the dry down on this so I was honestly hoping to use it more, but I do not like the way this feels on my face. It actually feels tight. And I tried to layer this with things under it or over it. And layering this with anything, like any other moisturizer, anything similar, it just pills, whether it's over or under. 
so you can only wear this alone and it's just very unpleasant so i thought that i would breeze through this in a couple of months not so last up is my heat protectant um last month we were there now we are here just a heavier use month i guess we are really getting down there um hopefully actually now that i see the use i'm thinking i could probably finish this in two months so by the end of july so i guess like the august update i think i can have this finished by so the goal for next month i actually think that there's gonna be a lot to be finished um in two months so not the july update but the august update i really think that i can hit pan on my nars bronzer for next month that's going to be a central goal i also really want to get as close as i can with the becca lipstick i really want to put in that work and see how far we can get next month although i don't know if it's possible those are the only two that are really close to being finished or the closest to being finished everything else is at least two months away i really don't know how long the boy brow is going to take with what is left um i would love to know what you're panning and how your project pan is going love to hear from you in the comments what you think about my progress I really loved having you today. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again around here soon. Bye.